A man discovers his girlfriend's betrayal involving a mysterious $3,000 deposit, leading to a painful journey of uncovering the truth and ultimately deciding to leave her in search of healing and a future built on trust. In the heart of the bustling city, where the constant hum of life never ceased, Ben and Aurelia crafted a small world of their own. It was a world woven from shared dreams, laughter, and an unspoken understanding that they were, in every way, made for each other. To outsiders, their relationship seemed almost cinematic, a perfect blend of romance and companionship. Their story wasn't one of love at first sight. Instead, it was a slow burn, a gradual intertwining of lives that started when they met at a mutual friend's art exhibit. Ben, an aspiring photographer, was immediately captivated by Aurelia's passion for painting. She, in turn, found a kindred spirit in Ben's artistic sensibilities and his gentle demeanor. Over time, their casual meetings evolved into coffee dates, movie nights, and eventually, a shared apartment filled with canvases, photographs, and the scent of freshly brewed coffee. Their home was a small, cozy place on the fifth floor of an old building, with a balcony overlooking the city. The walls were adorned with their artwork, Aurelia's vibrant paintings and Ben's black and white photographs. Every corner of the apartment told a story, a testament to their shared life and love. Ben found in Aurelia a partner who not only shared his interests but also challenged him. She had a way of looking at the world that made him see things in a different light. Her critiques of his work were always honest, pushing him to explore his talents further. Likewise, Ben's calm and thoughtful nature provided Aurelia with a sense of stability, a grounding force in her often chaotic, creative mind. Their weekends were sacred times, reserved for exploring hidden corners of the city or simply lounging at home. Ben loved these quiet moments the most, Aurelia, with her hair tied up, painting by the window as sunlight danced on her canvas, and he, with his camera in hand, capturing these fleeting, precious moments. Sometimes they would just sit on their balcony, coffee in hand, watching the sunrise, talking about everything and nothing. Despite the harmony, there was an undercurrent of unspoken worry. Aurelia's art studio was struggling to stay afloat, and the weight of financial stress often lingered in her eyes. Ben did his best to support her, reassuring her that things would get better. He believed in her talent more than anything and often spent hours helping her set up exhibitions and promoting her work. Their fourth anniversary was approaching, and Ben wanted to make it special. He had been saving up to buy Aurelia a vintage easel she had admired in a local antique shop. His plan was to surprise her with it, along with a weekend getaway to a secluded cabin where they could escape the city's chaos and immerse themselves in nature's tranquility. As Ben looked through their photo albums, reminiscing about their journey together, he felt a surge of gratitude. Life had been kind in giving him Aurelia, a partner who complimented him in every way. He closed the album, smiling to himself, unaware that their seemingly perfect world was on the brink of a revelation that would test the very foundation of their relationship. The morning sun cast a warm glow through the sheer curtains of Ben and Aurelia's apartment, signaling the start of another day. Ben, already awake, prepared breakfast while Aurelia continued to sleep, her chest rising and falling gently with each breath. He glanced at her occasionally, his heart swelling with affection. Today, he decided, would be the day he'd buy the vintage easel for their anniversary. After breakfast, while Aurelia was showering, Ben decided to tidy up the living room. As he picked up a pile of magazines from the coffee table, a small, folded bank statement slipped out from between the pages and fluttered to the floor. Curiosity peaked, he picked it up, intending to place it back with the magazines. However, a glance at the paper stopped him in his tracks. It was a bank statement in Aurelia's name, showing a recent deposit of $3,000. Ben's brow furrowed. They had always been transparent about their finances, a necessity given their modest means. This sudden, unexplained deposit seemed out of place. He couldn't recall Aurelia mentioning anything about receiving a large sum of money. Perhaps it was a payment for one of her paintings. But she would have told him, she always shared her successes, no matter how small. A whirlwind of questions began to swirl in his mind. 
should he ask her about it? But what if it was a surprise for him, for their anniversary? He didn't want to ruin any surprise she might be planning. Yet, the nagging feeling in his gut wouldn't subside. The amount was substantial, and its mysterious origin was troubling. With a heavy heart, Ben decided to keep his discovery to himself, at least for now. He folded the statement and put it back where he found it, his mind racing with possibilities. He tried to focus on his upcoming plans, but the image of the statement lingered, casting a shadow over his thoughts. Later that day, as Ben visited the antique shop to purchase the easel, he found himself distracted. The shop owner's cheerful chatter barely registered in his mind. He completed the purchase mechanically, his thoughts elsewhere. The easel, wrapped carefully, lay in the back seat of his car, but the excitement he had felt earlier was replaced by a gnawing unease. Back at home, Aurelia seemed her usual self, chatting animatedly about a new art project. Ben tried to engage in the conversation, but his responses were half-hearted. Aurelia noticed his distraction and asked if everything was okay. He brushed it off as tiredness, not wanting to voice his concerns without any concrete evidence. That night, as they lay in bed, Ben watched the soft light of the moon cast shadows across the room. Aurelia's steady breathing was a familiar comfort, yet tonight, it felt different. The seed of doubt planted by the bank statement had taken root in his mind, casting a pall over the trust and openness that had been the bedrock of their relationship. As he lay awake, Ben realized that this discovery was only the beginning. He needed to find out the truth behind the mysterious deposit, but he feared what that truth might reveal. The thought of confronting Aurelia filled him with an uncomfortable mix of apprehension and urgency. What he would uncover in the days to come could potentially change everything between them. The next few days passed in a haze for Ben. He found himself going through the motions, his mind constantly returning to the unexplained bank deposit. The once comforting routine of their life together now felt strained, punctuated by Ben's growing unease. He watched Aurelia, looking for any sign, any clue that might explain the mysterious $3,000. But there was nothing, just the usual ebb and flow of their daily life. Ben's internal struggle deepened. He loved Aurelia, trusted her implicitly, yet the unanswered question of the deposit gnawed at him. He considered bringing it up casually, but the right moment never seemed to come. The fear of what he might discover held him back. One evening, while Aurelia was at her studio, Ben decided to take a more active approach. He logged onto their shared computer, intending to look through her emails for any mention of a recent sale or commission. He hesitated for a moment, feeling a twinge of guilt for invading her privacy. But the need for answers overpowered his reluctance. As he sifted through her inbox, he found nothing out of the ordinary, just correspondence with art galleries, potential buyers, and fellow artists. However, a series of emails exchanged with an unfamiliar name caught his attention. The tone was overly familiar, and the content, though vague, hinted at private meetings. The last email mentioned a thank you for something, but there were no specifics. Ben's heart raced. Could this be related to the deposit? The possibility sent a chill down his spine. He delved deeper, searching for any other clues. His search led him to a hidden folder in Aurelia's email account, filled with more messages from the same person. These were more explicit, discussing arrangements for meetings and mentioning financial transactions. The pieces began to fall into place, painting a distressing picture. Ben felt a mixture of shock, betrayal, and disbelief. The realization that Aurelia might be involved with someone else, and that money was involved, was too much to bear. He sat back, trying to process what he had just discovered. His mind raced with questions. Why would she do this? Were they in such dire financial straits that she felt this was the only way out? Or was there something more to their relationship that he hadn't seen? The next few hours were a blur as Ben struggled to come to terms with his findings. He felt lost, unsure of what to do next. The apartment, once a haven of love and creativity, now felt suffocating. He needed air, space to think. 
Grabbing his coat, he left the apartment and walked aimlessly through the city streets, the cold night air barely registering. As he walked, his thoughts turned to their relationship, the trust they had built, the plans they had made. It all seemed like a lie now. The pain of betrayal was sharp, cutting deep into his heart. How could he confront Aurelia? Could their relationship survive this? Did he even want it to? The night grew darker, the city lights a blur through his tear-filled eyes. Ben knew he couldn't ignore what he had discovered. The truth, however painful, had to be faced. Tomorrow, he would confront Aurelia. Tomorrow, he would seek the answers he dreaded. But tonight, he walked alone, mourning the loss of the life he thought he knew. The dawn brought no comfort to Ben. The weight of his discovery hung heavy on his shoulders as he returned to the apartment. He had walked the streets all night, wrestling with his emotions, trying to piece together the fragments of the truth he had uncovered. Now, he had to face Aurelia, to confront the reality of their fractured relationship. Aurelia was in the kitchen when Ben entered. She greeted him with her usual bright smile, which faltered as she took in his haggard appearance. Ben, what's wrong? You look. Did something happen? She asked, her voice laced with concern. Ben's heart raced. This was the moment of truth. He took a deep breath and held out the bank statement he had found days earlier. Aurelia, I need to know about this. Where did this money come from? Aurelia's eyes widened in shock as she glanced at the statement. A range of emotions played across her face, surprise, confusion, and then, realization. She lowered her gaze, unable to meet Ben's searching eyes. Aurelia, please, Ben urged, his voice a mix of desperation and pain. I need the truth. There was a long, tense silence before Aurelia spoke, her voice barely above a whisper. It's not what you think, Ben. I. I didn't know how to tell you. We were struggling, the studio was failing, and I didn't want to burden you further. Ben felt a chill run down his spine. Tell me, he insisted. Aurelia hesitated, then began to recount her story. She had been approached by a wealthy art collector, someone she had met at a gallery opening months ago. He had offered her a deal, private time with him in exchange for financial support. It was a desperate move, born out of her fear of losing her studio, her passion. She justified it as a temporary solution, a necessary evil. As Aurelia spoke, Ben felt as if the ground beneath him was crumbling. The woman he loved, the woman he thought he knew, had become a stranger. Betrayal, hurt and anger swirled within him, a tumultuous storm that threatened to engulf him. Why, Aurelia? Why didn't you come to me? We could have figured it out together, Ben said, his voice breaking. I was scared, Ben. Scared of losing everything, scared of disappointing you. I thought I could handle it on my own. I didn't realize how wrong I was until it was too late, Aurelia replied, tears streaming down her face. The room felt suffocating as the magnitude of her confession settled in. Ben struggled to process her words, to understand how the love and trust they had shared could have led to this moment. The pain was overwhelming, a sharp, unrelenting ache in his chest. I'm sorry, Ben. I never meant to hurt you. I was just trying to protect what I loved, but I see now how foolish I was, Aurelia said, reaching out to him. But Ben stepped back, his heart closing in on itself. I don't know if I can get past this, Aurelia. Trust was the foundation of our relationship, and now, now I don't know what's left. Aurelia sobbed, her body racked with guilt and regret. Ben stood there, torn between his love for her and the betrayal he felt. The revelation had changed everything. The future they had envisioned together was now a shattered dream, lying in pieces at their feet. In that moment, Ben knew that their relationship would never be the same. The path ahead was uncertain, but one thing was clear, the trust they had once shared was irreparably broken. And without trust, what was left? In the days that followed, the apartment that once echoed with laughter and love now lay submerged in a deafening silence. 
Ben moved through the space like a ghost, haunted by memories at every turn. The vibrant paintings on the walls, once symbols of Aurelia's talent and passion, now felt like stark reminders of the chasm that had opened between them. Aurelia tried to reach out, her apologies and explanations a constant undercurrent, but Ben felt trapped in a fog of betrayal and disillusionment. He struggled with conflicting emotions, the love he still felt for Aurelia, intertwined with a sense of betrayal so profound it threatened to overshadow everything else. The decision to leave was not an easy one. It came after long nights of soul-searching, of weighing the remnants of their love against the erosion of trust. Ben realized that while forgiveness was possible, forgetting was not. The foundation of their relationship had been irrevocably damaged. Love, he understood now, was not just about affection and companionship, it was also about trust, honesty, and facing life's challenges together. The day Ben decided to leave, the sky was overcast, mirroring the turmoil within him. He packed his belongings, a few clothes, his camera, and the photo albums that chronicled their time together. With each item he placed in his bag, a memory surfaced, bittersweet and poignant. Aurelia watched him pack, her eyes brimming with tears. Ben, is there really no way we can get past this? I love you, and I'm so sorry for what I did, she pleaded. Ben paused, his heart aching. I believe you're sorry, Aurelia, and part of me still loves you. But the trust we had is broken. Every time I look at you, I'm reminded of what happened. I need to leave, for both our sakes. He zipped up his bag and took a final look around the apartment. This was more than just leaving a place, it was leaving a shared life, a future they had planned together. He approached Aurelia, his eyes meeting hers for a moment. I hope you find your way, Aurelia. I hope you find happiness. With those parting words, Ben stepped out of the apartment, closing the door on a chapter of his life. The outside world seemed starkly different, as if he was seeing it through new eyes. The future was uncertain, a path uncharted, but he felt a sense of resolve. As he walked down the street, the first drops of rain began to fall, each one like a tear for what was lost. He realized that this was not just an ending, but also a beginning. A beginning of healing, of rediscovering himself, of moving forward with the lessons learned from love and loss. The rain grew heavier, but Ben continued to walk, his steps firm and purposeful. He knew the road to recovery would be long and fraught with challenges, but he was ready to face them. In the midst of his pain, he found a glimmer of hope, a belief that someday, he would find love again, a love built on a foundation of trust and mutual respect. For now, he walked alone, but he was at peace, ready to embrace whatever the future held.